Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 1st of December 2022 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for Libra please. Angel Spirits Guides message for Libra. So we have intention number three behind a mask. Let's see what we have with that. So what do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Libra. As always, take what resonates. Won't be for everybody, Libra. And these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released. So we'll do another shuffle. Message for Libra, thank you. Okay. Message for Libra, thank you. So we have the Three of Wands. The Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, and we have the Ace of Swords. I like that. This feels money, career, enterprise. That's definitely what dropped in for me. But it's something that you're doing stealthily. You're doing something secretly. Um, not telling anybody about it until you've got your end set up and that's the energy that i'm getting here libra because the three of wands is you are taking steps in a particular direction and things are moving forward in a very positive way for you you're feeling very positive and optimistic about how things are panning out now this is very good on the money career financial front the three of wands because it's empowering it links with growth and success this is where you're seeing the first signs of success. It doesn't mean that everything is, you know, in the bag right now. It's not. This is somebody who is actually waiting to see what's going to happen. It might well be that you've already experienced a level of things moving in the right direction on this path. For example, if this was new jobs, you might have already had a meeting. You might have already had an interview and you might have felt actually, yeah, this is moving in the right direction. And it could have been an interview or two. It could have been a number of, you know, a, a few, maybe one or two hurdles that you've already experienced. This is the energy here where things are looking very hopeful and optimistic about it. So that's the energy here. Your ships are coming in. They're not in the harbour yet, however. You're waiting. You're waiting to find out what's going to happen next. But there's a feeling of stealth, keeping things close to your chest, not wanting to tell anybody about it right now. Now we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords can be that momentary pause. Again, these two energies can be that energy of, of waiting. Now this can be uh, actually linking to, with things like recovery. Uh, so it can represent here Libra and it's recovery of any kind. If you weren't happy with your current place of work, if there were some issues there, this could be your path to recovery, your path to feeling more optimistic about life. It's not limited to that. This can actually just be that momentary pause before you find out, you know. This is just waiting. It feels like you're waiting here for whatever reason. Now, the Queen of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Uh, not limited to that. This is somebody who manifests as a Queen of Wands, so can be any sign in the general reading. This is somebody who is go-getting, who is driven, who is very inspirational, uh, who leads by example. A uh, very courageous energy, doesn't ask anybody to do anything that, that this person wouldn't do. So, you know, they'd do it first. So this is somebody who leads by example. Um, so very, very uh, successful energy with the Queen of Wands. But they hold the wand, you see, they hold the wand of opportunity, the wand of power, the wand of that can be linked with things like offers and opportunities for you as well. So... But you're wondering if they're going to offer it to you. It looks like jobs, business, career. The Ace of Swords, I love this because it's air energy, which is your element. So there's a strong energy here of this is empowering you. The Ace of Swords is a card of victory. It's a card of success. It's a card of winning. It's triumphant, but it links with a new beginning. In the sense that you're hearing back from this person. This person is feeding back to you. 
it's a lovely energy because it's very empowering for you. So I feel here, Libra, that's the message that I'm getting quite strongly for you. You've taken steps in a particular direction and you're feeling pretty confident about it. But there is this kind of pause. So expect that. But then everything becomes clear. You get the clarity that you need and it's victory, it's success, it's a triumph here. That's what I'm getting the strongest here, Libra. Lovely energy. I'm going to pull you an affirmation. Yeah, oh my goodness. This is so this energy. Hold the vision, trust the process. Okay, final message for Libra. We have elephant, grounding, ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Now, interesting, I did look at the bottom of the deck. So when I do, I say it and we have tiger, divine timing, good things come to those who wait. <laughs> Yeah. It's a lovely reading, Libra. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.